So you've been on tour before with Keisha Cole. You're going on tour with Jason Derulo, and you're basically the princess of Beluga Heights. What's next? Next? Just do what I do. Just do what you do? Y'all come. Yeah, I don't know. I go with flow. When's the album? I, the album is, uh, we're making it now. We have enough songs to actually have it. We have, like, enough songs for two albums. But, you know, if you, if you guys are thinking it, because it sounds like everywhere. Like, it's so different. Like, people hear Perfect too, and then they hear Moves, they're like, hey. Yeah. It's <laughs> the same girl, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't want to confuse people. So we're trying to figure out how to get the right sound of the new album as an introduction. So it'll probably be done, if not later this year, definitely. So what kind of sound would you like the album to go in? Everything. Everything? Everything. I listen to everything. I listen to everything. Except for heavy metal? Yeah. You got it's not heavy metal, but every other genre there is, I'm listening to like my iPod is so random. So, you know a song called Burrito Lady? No. See, that's how random I am. <laughs> Burrito Lady? I like Lady? everything. There's a song, and it's like about Chipotle, and it's so oh. random. <laughs> it's so oh, random, but I love that song. Okay, it goes like this. Well, I was sitting at home, wishing I had me a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> a burrito would be oh so sweet right now. <laughs> so I said to my friend, I got here again. I got to go get me a burrito. My friend said, man, I understand. It's not about the meal. It's about how you feel. I said, hey, 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 burrito lady. <laughs> Drive me crazy. I don't, I don't know. Now, how many stars did you give that on your iPod? I would give that like a five. I thought that was <laughs> super. It's so random. I like random things. He really just sang about a burrito. And I think he probably had a super bomb burrito from Chipotle. And he said, you know what? I'm going to write a song about it. That's how I roll. <laughs> I wrote a song about a fork before, you know? He wrote a song about a fork? Fork. An entire song dedicated, dedicated to different color forks. Can you hit us with that right now? I hey. will not do that to myself. No? I was younger. Come on. Would you mind pulling the microphone? Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Interrupting our interview. Um. Right. Okay. Um, you believe this? <laughs> I did a song. Um. I did like a mixtape track to uh, to Yo. To Yo. When I was like 15. And you did. You did the whole thing. I called it no. You called it no. Like I was trying. I was like playing. Him. And the whole thing. Like it, was a, it was about his breath thinking and <laughs> me not wanting to talk to him. I That's funny. Like so how many mixtapes you got out? You keep mentioning the mixtape scene. I have fun with other people's music. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of mixtape tracks. Some you haven't heard and some you have. Some are locked away in the lab. Yeah. You going to throw a mixtape out before the album? That would be dope, Mom. That's what I'm I saying. Like you. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> Uncle Duck's over there shaking it. his head saying no, no, Because I like no. putting stuff out, you know, I like editing stuff. I hate waiting. Um, so what artists do you look up to right now, and who is influencing your music the most? <laughs> um, well, well, I don't know. I'm listening to, like I said, I'm listening to everybody. When I'm, like, chilled out, like, relaxing, I have gospel in my ears when I'm like trying to settle myself because mm-hmm. you never have a chance to like sit down. When I'm doing that, I'm listening to gospel. But if not, I'm listening to like um, Rascal Flatts or like like um who was I just listening to? Kobe Calais. Kobe Calais. Like yeah. You would strike me as somebody that would listen to gospel of Kobe Calais. See. Gospel, Kobe Calais, Dream, um, Nickelback, um, um, what's that dude's name? This is new artist, Aaron Fresh. Mm-hmm. I like him. Do you? I do. I think his music is really cool. <laughs> Spending all my time loving you, all my time loving you. I wish I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that song. <laughs> and, um, Ooh. yeah. You looking for any guest appearances on your ne- on your new album? I keep saying Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? That would be very interesting. I really would like to see how that goes. Like, how to make a song about hair flip or something. <laughs> did you, know? you Did you see on Twitter the other day that Justin Bieber might be doing a song with Raekwon and Kanye? Where? How yeah, is that gonna go? That's basically what I said too. What, what is What is this, the what? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They were all talking okay. on Twitter about doing a song together. You should do a song with me. Are you on Twitter? 
I am. What's your what? What can we follow you at? Um, call me Auburn. Call me Auburn. Yeah. No P-A- underscores, no spaces. Just call One me word. Auburn. Just call me Auburn. Word up. We're in the Q94 studios live with Auburn, who sings the hit La La La. How did you come about doing that song? Um, well, that song, unlike all my other songs, is actually written by someone else. It was written by Ayat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And how that, <laughs> how that worked out is because before I got signed, right, I told JR I'm really strong in my faith and, like, mm-hmm. knowing who I am, that type of thing. So I told him I don't sing other people's lyrics. I feel like it's a waste of a, of a blessing to not write your own stuff. And they were like, oh, no, we respect that. Like, we know. That's why we want you, right? So this day when they called me into the studio, they stood up. Like, Tommy and JR, they just stood up. And they're like, hey, what's up? I'm like, what? Because they never stand up. Like, they never do that. I do not get a standing ovation. They're just like, what's up? And then they, <laughs> they just continue with on with their day. This time they stood up. And I was like, what? They're like, just hear me out. Hear me out. I want you to listen to something. And they played it, and it was like Ayaz singing over it. And mm-hmm. it was the dopest thing I've ever heard in life. And I, I know he wrote it for me <laughs> because... It's about a clingy guy, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, and I always talk about that. I always talk about that. So Jr. produced the record. Ayaz wrote the record. And I just sang it. And you just sang. And I just sang it. And when I sang it, I had the most added, the biggest attitude. I was like so mad. I had like someone specific in mind. Did you? A few guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, put them on blast. I can't do that. <laughs> I actually care about them, <laughs> oh. so I'm not gonna do it. But, Word. Yeah, the song is dope. I can relate to it really well. Yeah. That's how that came about. That's what's up. I noticed that you said that you like meanings in your song. You don't just like exactly a dance. Song. Like, you see, need if I even if I like the song, if I didn't know I asked, I wouldn't sing it. Really? I'm, I go by like somebody's spirit, you know. Like I, I like to know mm-hmm. what they meant when they wrote the song, and I know I asked personally, so I'm like, yeah, my guy, whatever. How long have you known I asked? I've known him for about I'm gonna say two years now. Yeah. Um, when he before he was Mr. Yaga Man, <laughs> before he came out. Uh, same with Jason. Did you know I was signed late 07? Yep. And then they both came in. So we I've okay. known them for a while. That's cool. So you can have Jason Derulo and Ayaz on the same oh, track with you at any track. time? Uh, what did you say? You're going to get Jason and Ayaz on the same track with you at any point in time? Well, I have. Me and Jason have two songs together. Oh, and yeah? me and Ayaz have two songs. Yeah. What songs? Okay. Come on now. Well, actually, one is How Did We, and that got leaked. So we're going to have to redo that. What is it? How Did We? It's called How Did We. So YouTube it's, that leaked yeah. record. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, actually though, it's the rough of it. It's the rough. It's not even the actual track. It's the rough. Someone like figured out how to get into our studio computer, and they leaked so many different uh, stupid people. So how does that happen when people leak records? Who knows? I I because like, a lot of times it seems like people do it on purpose to build buzz for a record. That was not the case with this one. Honestly, I, I, that is an honest, uh, the honest truth. So like, do you have, like, I. You have suspicions on that kind of stuff on who no. did it to you? No, because I know that there's a way that you can actually get into a computer, like a hard drive, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it was just like site in Germany. It that, was in Germany? It was in Germany, dude. And this guy on Twitter is like, hey, I just listened to your song Maniac. I'm like, how? Because <laughs> it's not even out. Yeah. And he was like, oh, there's this site um, in Germany where you can just go to Beluga Heights and click on all your new songs. But, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's not really bad. So then you had to start from square one, basically. No, no, I don't do that. I keep songs, but we're gonna have to like do the tracks over, you know. I hear you. Yeah. You looking on a remix for La 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 anytime soon? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You don't give anything <laughs> up, huh? <laughs> what? I'm resourceful. I believe you. Yeah. We're in the Q94 studios, hanging out with Auburn, who's got the hit La La La. Do you have a name for the album yet? I don't. I was thinking, call me Auburn. There you go. Wouldn't that be simple? You can throw she, the ad symbol me. in front of it, and it'll double as a Twitter ad. Thing. Right? I feel you. <laughs> yes. It's all about that promotion. I feel you with that. That's cool. <laughs> Word. Well, thank you so much for coming through today to hang out with us and enjoy these delicious McDonald's fruit smoothies. <laughs> thank you very much for the Shameless plug. <laughs> we got to do this again. Thank you so much for coming through. Oh, as well. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yellow one, really pretty. Crap.